Welcome to Candid Travels Texas. Today we are going to go on a short little excursion down to Sugarland, Texas and the Houston area to just show you all a little uh, of what it looks like shortly after Hurricane Harvey. Now, right after Hurricane Harvey, there is a Hurricane Irma, and right behind Hurricane Irma, there is a Hurricane Jose, or a Tropical Storm Jose, that's going to become a hurricane soon. So we might get a couple more hurricanes, but we're prepared. We are tactically prepared. So um, we'll be going down there to help some people as well. So uh, I'm just going to shortly show you what it looks like right now and today is September 5th 2017 and you kind of see what Sugar Land some of the Houston area look like right now okay all right that surrounding area so let's go all right we're now on our way to the Houston area uh, specifically Sugar Land Texas we're gonna look at what it looks like and if you look around right now it looks kind of normal but we just now passed a pond tiny little puddle pond that became a big 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 lake okay so um a couple of tactical tips once again is uh during when we have had gas outages so if any of you guys are struggling with that a trick is every time you see a gas station that has gasoline, no matter how full your tank is, let's say it's at, at the full mark, you want to put more gas in there until you can't put no more in. I know they say don't top off for your tank. In this case, you want to do that, okay? Because you may not be able to get gas for a while. Another thing is Gas Buddy. That's an online uh, app, is it? Uh, what, Allison, what is it, an app? It's an app and you can just go on their site. Right, you go on their site to show which gas pumps actually have gasoline. Now, another tactical tip would be right now, Hurricane Harvey is over. We're going to go and film and show you guys what it looks like on September 5th, 2017, after Hurricane Harvey. Now, here in Texas, we're very efficient, so we will be uh, looking pretty good. I mean, look around, look. It looks pretty, day, pretty dang good, um, but this is fall, and normally it's not this green, <laughs> okay, because we've got a lot of water. Now, we're not, we're about halfway to, to Houston, so we're not even there yet, but you want to make sure that you evacuate early. That is a tactical tip. For example, seven days before Harvey hit landfall, or they thought it may or may not, I'd advise people to leave to higher ground. So did Governor Greg Abbott of Texas, okay? You don't want to wait till everybody else is starting to leave. You've got to leave before then. So any hurricane, at least you can do that. You have that ability to watch the storm and you have a few days, you know, where you can actually get a head start. I'm looking on the road right now and there's people even evacuating and moving their stuff from Austin to the Dallas-Fort Worth area just in case the hurricane hits harder okay now right now there is a hurricane Irma that's already past Puerto Rico and it's already from what I understand a category 5 hurricane behind Irma there is a tropical storm soon to be Hurricane Jose pushing Irma toward the United States of America now, when Harvey hit and entered the Gulf of Mexico, it was only a Category 1 hurricane. By the time it hit Rockport, Texas, it was a Category 4 hurricane. Now, Irma right now is already a Category 5 hurricane, and it's in the, uh, across, crossing the ocean heading to the United States. So it's either going to enter the Gulf of Mexico, it looks like it from my point of view, because you've got Jose pushing Irma, and the Gulf of Mexico is shaped kind of like, like a like a magnet, like a bay, and it'll suck it in. So it's going to hit Houston again. I hope it hits us because we're prepared here in Texas. If not, it'll divert north, 
and hit the Carolinas, Georgia, Florida. Now, from what I heard, there are people in Florida right now scrambling to get water and gas, and there's like no supplies in the supermarket. Um, so, those are some tactical tips for hurricane, for those of you in hurricane areas, or, or any natural disaster that you can foresee. Okay, a couple of other things that I would highly advise is, while you can, there is still a version of a movie called Fat Head, F-A-T-H-E-A-D, by Tom Naughton, N-A-U-G-H-T-O-N, hilarious comedian, but he presents information on eating, the importance of eating red meat and animal saturated fat. That will keep your emotions more stable, it will allow you to uh, stay sound and, 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 and cognitively focused. You do not want to eat too much sugar. You don't want to eat uh, too much carbohydrates because that will play with your blood sugar and your insulin levels will, will you know, jump up and down. And adrenaline, cortisol, all that stuff is affected by that. Okay? So, is the camera still running? Yes. Yeah! All right. So, we look around. The clouds are in the sky and we will show you what it looks like so as we drive around uh, Sugarland to see if there's any damage, okay? All right, now that's a pond that used to be very low. Notice that the trees are now immersed in the water. That is from Harvey. And uh, if you can tell how green it looks. Normally this area would be more of a yellow grass by, by autumn. But look at how green the grass is. And here we go, here's some more water. That is very high, it's higher than normal. So we're we are at Kathy's Corner, which is one of the few gas stations right now in Texas that still has gasoline. All, you know, 87, 80, 89, 93, all kinds of gas. The price is pretty good. So they never ran out of gas. So another tactical tip, especially if you're in Texas, you can get Topo Chico, but any kind of soda water, it's like Perrier water, you can put into your little flask instead of regular water. Why do I do that? Well, when you're hungry and you're driving long periods of time, this type of thing will make it uh, feel like you're drinking soda. Also, soda water has the ability to clean the inside of the flask. So, you know, sometimes you get backwash and stuff like that in there, okay? So, Topo Chico or soda water of some kind inside your flask. And you can keep it with you and just take a little, see it, it you hear that little fizz? A little bit of it, just swish it around with your saliva and it will uh, clean your gums, all right? We're gonna do the uh, drone next, and I'll show you why we're gonna, we're gonna do it. In the rest area behind Kathy's corner, we're close to Houston. What did Allison say about my rest areas over here? I said the signs were, were cute with yeah. the cowboy and the cowgirl. Yeah, that's me, and there's the cowgirl. And what'd you say, her what's are sticking out? <laughs> here, here. Here, so this is where, I wonder if people from other countries will go, is this a man or a woman? And then over here, is that, that a man or a woman? Well, that one's obvious. You think? But what, like other countries, would they know that this is a woman? Maybe they can't tell. Oh, I don't know. Rest area. Okay, so look over here. Normally, if you walk with me here, it was, we're near Houston area now. There was no water over here. You see where the great gate's at? You see the gate right there. Right here. The gate, you see that gate? Where that gate is, normally that's land. So it, it definitely flooded, okay? It definitely flooded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this drone up and we're gonna look on here and see how much water there is uh, from up top, okay? Okay, so we are right now at Kathy's Corner in the back. Now this area here was originally all land. 
Now, I cannot even step in there. Hey, beautiful bird. I can't even step in it with my boot. And there, if you can see right there, there's a gate. This gate should have, uh, you're supposed to be able to walk through that gate. This whole area is flooded, okay? Now, as you can see, this is like a playground area. It's a rest area with kids. There's a little shark there. Now, that shark can actually swim here now. <laughs> So all of this area was land. It's all flooded now. No public, the, the lake has no public access obviously now, but the land area is now, my, my boots are wet. All right, so I'm gonna take it up and we'll the see DJI what we see. DJI Mavic Pro running and Allison, you see where I'm at now? All right, eventually once I get it a, a airborne, we're gonna, you're gonna do film on this thing and we'll see what we see up top, all right? Right, here we are. Let's have a seat. Sit down. And here we go. Here we go. Okay, now you can look up there. Now I'm going to... I forgot. It's been a while. Okay. So I'm going to look downward. Now you can see. Okay, we're going to go up. Okay. Look at the water. All right, look at the amount of flooding there is. I'm gonna, gonna pile it down. So as you can see, right here, where the fence is, there normally shouldn't be any water, but do you see all that water? Right here, where is it now? Okay, because we go up higher, 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 higher. You're gonna see the amount of water flooding there is from Down this way, you see all that. There's flooding this way. Now look, I'm going to go to the trees. You see the tree? I'm going toward the trees now. I'm going to go down. As you can see, we're going down, and I'm going to show you at the level of the trees. Now notice the tree line. Can you see that, Allison? Yes. Okay. Normally, the trees. Look at the bottom of the tree of the canopy. Can you see it? It's underwater, is it not? You see it? There it is. You see how the leaves are touching the water? Do you see that? Normally this area would be above water. So this is what Hurricane Harvey has done. Look how close I'm getting to the trees. Look at that. You see how the trees are underwater? You see that? You see it? Should I get? Can I get a little closer without losing it? And I will turn around. You see that? Here we go. Look at that tree. You see how the branches are now... I'm getting real close. See how the branches are touching the water. You see that? You see it? That's not normal. So, uh, I just wanted to show you. I could not even walk through there right now, so I have to use the drone. In order to now, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it up high before I get trapped. Point downward. Take it straight up. Take it straight up. Bam, 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 bam. You see that? See that flooding? And so this is a good little t tactical tool. Let's say if you're you have no communication, you can use this if you're driving around to see if some highways are flooded or whatsoever. Right now, I'm gonna. Take it up and we'll look a bird's eye view, a 360. Look at the flooding. You see that? There's puddles. This is normally just land. You see where that is? There's flooding. Now the highways are clear finally, but look over here. There's flooding there too. Let me go up a little higher. As you go higher, you're going to see more and more flooding toward the south. You're going to see more and more flooding this way. There you go. See those two big, it looks like a puddle, but those are actually large things that are lakes. They're the size of lakes. Okay? All right, baby. Look at that. And if I look, if you look upward, I'm going to go up this way. We're going to be driving in this direction to where the, uh, the flooding is. And there's martial law curfew declared right now in 
Houston and some of the surrounding areas. But you see these two patches of huge, doesn't look big, but look at the size of the cars. So that is a, like a new lake that didn't exist before. <laughs> All right, so let's hit home. I'm gonna have a return home, automatically return home. And when I see it in front of me, we're at 80% battery, so I'm gonna save it for later in case we get trapped and we need to use this to uh, look for highways and roads. Sometimes there'll be trees that are downed in, for, in front of certain uh, roads, back roads, or, and then you can use this to research. There it is, you see it? I see it in view now and I can pilot it back. Coming home? Is it coming home? Uh-oh, it might be landing in the water. No, uh, let's cancel this auto. Cancel auto landing. All right, so let me bring this thing back and I'll show you that I'm gonna land it right on the table. Are All you right? filming? Mm -hmm. All right, so this is not easy flying. It's very precision flying. I'm gonna try to land it right on the garbage can. Not that it's a piece of garbage or, let me see where I can land it where I can land it. This is all manual here. There's no computers doing this for me. Let's see if I can land it right on the table. I think I'm gonna use the table where which is where where we had it. Okay, hello, hi Mavic. I call this the ATX Maverick 13. This is not going to be easy. It's like NASA level stuff, baby. Yeah! We did it. Let's drive toward we're Houston. On our way to the Houston area. However, we're in traffic. So let me show you the map here. As you can see, Harvey is, Hurricane Harvey's over. But what, what is approaching the United States is Hurricane Irma, who at this moment is now at a Category 5 hurricane. Allison's going to point to that now. Where is it? There's Irma. So now as you can see behind Irma, she's going to point to the one behind Irma is the Hurricane Jose. That's going to grow in bigger as we speak. Now if you notice on the left, Allison will point where the Gulf of Mexico is, is where we are here in Texas. You see where we are in Texas? There we go. All right, we are like a magnet. It's shaped like a U. And we, here in Texas, naturally, like a magnet, will suck hurricanes into that Gulf of Mexico area, and the hurricane will grow in power, and it slams into us. Growing up here in Texas, we had hurricanes every summer. But this is the first time that I know of, in my entire life, where the oil refiners are down and broken to where we are having trouble getting gasoline. Um, so, as you can see, it will either go north. Okay, Allison, you want to point north? Just whatever I say, you can kind of direct so they can see it. I'm driving the truck right now. It will go north and hit Florida, Georgia, the Carolinas, etc. Or it will will get sucked into the Gulf of Mexico and slam into Houston again. Either way, we'll, we don't know, but it will make landfall in a few days, and uh, the weatherman you doesn't know either. He might say, oh, it's probably going to hit Florida. We don't know. We just got to wait. Now, look ahead. My traffic is freeing up, so I'm headed south into the danger zone. Look on the other side. That is a traffic jam of people evacuating, evacuating where we're going. Ha <laughs> ha! So um, we probably won't get any light because we've been on the freeway stuck for quite a while. But look at how many people are evacuating already. And it is only, what, is it Tuesday? Yes. It's Tuesday. Now we're headed south and they're going north. You can film me. <laughs> Here we go. So we're headed south toward the danger zone and look right over there that's north 
they're heading to where we came from, which is the Austin, Texas area. And we're trying to advise friends and family to come either to Austin, and those of us in Austin, if Hurricane Irma hits, she will hit at a category five or higher in Texas. We will have to evacuate to my cousin Paul's in the Dallas, Fort Worth area, which is further north. All right, so look straight ahead. Very good work, Allison. Notice we just had a little rainfall still. <laughs> the skies are not blue here in, in Texas. Notice earlier, we were actually closer to Austin. It was nice and sunny when we flew the drone. And we are now approaching, we are actually in the Houston and surrounding area right now. So I believe Memorial still has a martial law curfew but most of the Houston area is lifted except for the flood zones. All right? Oh, here's some rain. You see that rain coming? More rain coming. All right, so thanks for watching Candid Travels Texas. Remember the tactical tips? Be prepared. Eat lots of iron-rich red meat and saturated fats, and it's actually good for you. Watch the documentary Fathead, F-A-T-H-E-A-D. There's eight videos. Oh, look, more rain. So we will go now. We are losing light, so thanks again. And if you need prayer or help, leave a message underneath here at our YouTube channel at Candid Travels Texas. Yeehaw! Look at the rain! So we just now got to the Sugarland area, which is the surrounding Houston area, and uh, we're losing light, so this will be the last shot. You can see the water here out the window. And this is post Hurricane Harvey. It's receded a little bit. The roads are at least open, but look at the level of the water uh, by that little pier dock area. It's normally way lower. And you can just kind of see how much water there is where the bridge is. Look at, look at how high the water is toward the bridge. It's normally much lower uh, in this little man made lake area. All right, so thanks a lot for watching. I just wanted to let you all see the amount of water here. Canada Travels, Texas. And even now, if you look in the sky, it's gray. There's still rainfall. So uh, whether Hurricane Irma hits us here in South Texas or not, there is a tremendous amount of flooding. So once again, take everything you need to be safe. All right? Thanks again for watching and contact us for prayer Some or any more additional you stuff. Allison just noticed this. What did you say? You can tell that the street had some flooding. Right. You see, how? Because you can see the little the line on the side there by the curb. The and dirt. Then, and the dirt. The dirt you can see the middle. It's all right. Dry. Right. All right. So uh -huh. thanks again for watching. We are going to go and help some people and try to get back to Austin, Texas. Hopefully not too long, all right? Okay, so one last thing. We are at the Shell Station in Sugarland, Texas, which is in the Houston surrounding area. And we're actually higher up in elevation than a lot of the lower parts. So as you can see, there is no gasoline here. It's out of service. There has not been gas here. And Gas Buddy was accurate in saying there's no gasoline, all right? Once again, thank you for joining us and contact us for prayer or for any help. Let us know how we can help.